So we're very excited today to be in Ghana, where we're undertaking some horticultural training for the first time with our whole West African team in one place. We've had all the gardeners come from Gambia, come from Nigeria, various sites, uh, and, and the various gardeners from across Ghana are here as well. beautiful Christiansborg War Cemetery which is the largest site in, in Ghana um, and it's a very very beautiful site to visit a very prominent location it's across the road from the Ghana National Football Stadium um, so we're on some prime real estate and we spent the first morning discussing the history of the Commission and um, some general horticultural principles and now we're all here on site sort of seeing it with our own eyes and so the main goal today is that we're going to be digging some headstone borders and we're going to do some renovation with the team um, particularly with a view to renovating our sites in Nigeria where we don't have borders at the moment as you can see around this site it's a really fine example of what the Commission does this being one of the jewels in West Africa and um, if we take the camera over to the team today's instruction is going to be cutting out this border followed by some renovations a bit later on today for most of the team this is the first time they've tried this so it's quite a steep learning curve it looks like someone else has come along for the training <laughs> So what's going on here, Simon? First of all, we're, we're doing a three yearly renovation of the border. So that's removal of all the plants, straightening up the edge, um, digging out a trench, um, incorporating organic matter, whether it's manure, compost or whatever, and, and digging it into the border and creating a level new surface. So we're back at Christiansburg War Cemetery for day two of the training. Everyone's getting off the bus. And the weather is spectacular today. We were rained out yesterday, so everyone's in a better mood. So we're stood in Christiansburg War Cemetery in Ghana, and we thought we'd introduce you to a few members of the team from West Africa who have made the trip over. It's been a busy couple of days and we've learned a lot, but uh, I think everyone's had a good time, so we'll find out. So, this is, this is David. Yeah. And you work at Christiansborg War yeah. Cemetery. Yeah. Has it been strange hosting this event? We, we are very impressed. Yeah. Yeah, to learn how we can keep the cemetery to meet your standard. Yeah, yeah. And did you guys want to introduce yourselves? Yeah, my name's Abiodun uh, Yowali. I'm, I'm a Nigerian, I'm from Military Cemetery Jericho Ibadan site. So, we enjoyed the training, everything was so, so good. We are very happy for taking care of us, CWGC. So how, how long have you both worked for the commission? Me, I, I, this year is my seven years. Wow, wow. Because my father, Landy Sanyang, hmm. was working at the Commonwealth War Grave. Oh, wow. 20 or, I can say 20 years. Back in 2012, they called me. I replaced him. Yeah, yeah. And was but, it was it quite nice to to follow in your father's footsteps? Yes, that's why I follow his step. Mm -hmm. And so, how long have you worked with the commission yourself? Seventeen minutes. Seventy. You're winning. You've got <laughs> you've got more experience. He was there with my father. <laughs> oh, so you knew him well. Yeah. I hold him, I hold him as a father to me mm. because he he was there with my father. Then when my father late. I come to join him, but he hold me as a son. Yeah. I respect him, he respect me. So we're finished after two long days. Everyone's exhausted, but I think we've had a really good time. So I think everyone from West Africa just wanted to say goodbye. Bye! <laughs> and we'll see you next time.